Daniel, you turned out to be a, a very kind, bright, and caring young man. Level-headed and very passionate about whatever you do. Today gives me the opportunity as your dad, and I'm sure I'm also speaking for your mom, to let you know how we love and admire you for who you are. Janine, in the past two years, I've had the opportunity to get to know you much closer. Not only are you very beautiful, considerate, and well-spoken, but you're also extremely hardworking, determined, and driven. I would like to tell you how lucky we are to make you and your wonderful big family a part of our very small family. I welcome you with open arms and an open heart as my new daughter. In, in closing, I would like to give both of you my deepest heartfelt blessing for a very happy and amazingly wonderful marriage. Daniel, it seems so surreal to be writing this letter to you. My whole life I dreamed of the day I would marry my best friend, and here we are. Because we aren't saying vows, I wanted to say them to you right now. I vow to love you unconditionally. No matter where life takes us, I'm always going to have your back. I vow to support you and help you reach anything you want in life. You're nothing short of amazing. I, I couldn't imagine a better man in my life. You make me happy. You give me the freedom to be myself and support all my dreams. Love for the last time ever, Jean Grey. From this moment on, you travel together, sometimes side by side and other times apart. No matter how busy your days may be, make time for yourselves as a couple. Hold hands, unwind together and surprise each other. Find little chances every day to show that you are happy to be partners, to be best friends and to be married. Daniel, do you pledge to love Janine and throughout your years together to be honest, faithful, and kind to her? Then answer, I do. I do. Janine, do you pledge to love Daniel and throughout your years together to be honest, faithful, and kind to him? Then answer, I do. I do. Before these witnesses, in my presence, and have exchanged rings as the pledge of your vows to each other, now, upon the authority vested in me, I pronounce you husband and wife. Daniel, you may now kiss your bride. <laughs> more than half my life now. Today, I got the privilege of standing up next to her on the biggest day of her life, marrying this wonderful person, Daniel. One of the things um, I love most about Janine, no one has ever made me laugh harder than this beautiful, crazy, talented, loving, driven woman. Janine actually has a unique talent for bringing out the best in people because she literally creates happiness for others. I feel so grateful for her friendship and I just thought it was absolutely amazing how Dan supported her in agreeing to totally drop everything, including amazing career opportunities, just to create a happy life for them. That was when I knew I could trust him to really take care of my best friend in this 
Peace is way there. Here's a toast to the next chapter. May you be poor in sadness and rich in happiness. Here's to Daniel and Janine. <laughs> Janine and Dan came to my rescue, a fully loaded and unloaded U-Haul five hours later, and the only complaint Janine made was that there weren't more boxes so we could spend more time together before I left for England. Now all of us have our own paths in life. I think we can all agree though that ours are that much better for having crossed with Janine and Dan. Everyone, if you could please raise your glasses and join me in wishing Dan and Janine all the best in their marital journey. Yeah. 